<laughs> can you hear us? Oh my god, what? <laughs> you can hear us now, right? Yes. What about now? Can you hear me now? Oh my god. Yeah. God, what is this magical thing? Hey guys, in today's video, we're checking out a really incredible and very unique in-ear monitor system. We're checking out these guys right here, and if you can see, these actually have like a little ambient microphone built into them. So what happens is you actually have a way to control how much ambient sound you want let into your ears. So you still get your in-ear monitor mix, but you don't feel as isolated. And you can control how much you get with this little controller right here. Really unique, I've never actually seen anything like this with in-ear monitors. Very cool system, this is the 3DME by a company called ASI Audio, which is by Sensophonics, if you've heard of them. Really crazy, and one of the most common complaints about in-ear monitors, actually probably the biggest common complaint about in-ear monitors is how isolated you feel. You're very isolated from the audience, you don't really hear what's going on around you, you have to take out one earbud in order to talk to someone on stage and stuff like that. This system has basically solved that problem because it is letting in some of the sound and you have control of how much of the ambient environment you want to hear in your in-ear monitors. On top of of that you get more advanced features with the app you have like eq control you have a limiter you have different settings that you can do with the app you can change the left and the right earbud you can set the limiter differently on each earbud really wild really cool system and i'm going to go over it to see if it's something that you can be interested in so many thanks to asi audio for sending this over to check out for the channel this is not a paid video or anything they just sent it over to me to check out I love it, so I'm putting it on my channel. If I didn't like the product, I wouldn't review it on my channel. If you've ever felt like, man, I feel really isolated when I use in-ear monitors, this is definitely something worth looking into. I've been using it at the last couple of shows that I've played. I also had some of my musician friends try it out and I filmed their reaction to it. We're gonna check this thing out and see if this is something that is right for you. Before we get started, this is a music tech channel. I do gear reviews, tutorials. I do gear giveaways on this channel. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe. All right. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. Okay, so here's the case that it comes in, a really nice carrying case. We're bringing it around everywhere. So you get a couple of things. So here's the main unit itself. You get the earbuds. It comes with a USB-C cable for charging the device. Comes with a clip if you need to clip something onto like a shirt or something like that. It comes with a device for cleaning the earbuds. Comes with some tips. It also comes with this cable. I'll show you how you use that here in a minute. So you're gonna plug the headphones into this port right here. It's got this double port because you do have different control over the left and the right side, which I'll show you here in a minute. Very specific cable but you see this right here plug that into the side on the bottom here you flip the switch on and it's ready to go and you can see at the top you get like a little battery meter as well with these four green dots which is really nice so over here you can see you have a port that says in right here on the side this is where you're going to plug in the signal so you're going to be getting this from you know an in your monitor system or wherever you're getting the signal from so that's what this cable's for so i'm going to attach this to my wireless in your monitor receiver right here i'm using the audio technica one okay so i know at this point, you're probably like, I don't want to wear two belt packs. That was my first thought when I first saw this as well. I was like, oh, this is going to be weird. Honestly, it, it it's not weird at all. I've, I've done it for multiple shows. That first show, it was just like, oh, well, that that's not bad at all. It's just like on my right side, you know, where I have my belt pack, that's where I can control the ambient mics. And then on my left side, that's where I can control the volume. I just want to address that right off the bat. As soon as the first show started, I was like, oh, this, this isn't bad at all. Wanted to be clear about that because I had the same thought. Anyway, back to the video. So it looks like this. So you do have two different packs. This one is still gonna control the volume. So my Audio-Technica one is still gonna control the volume. By the way, this Audio-Technica one is a fantastic in-ear monitor system. I feel like not very many people know about it. I do have a dedicated video on it. Check out my video on that, I'll link to that down below. But that Audio-Technica system still controls the volume. And then this one on the top, you have this plus and the minus button. That is going to be what controls how much of the ambient comes into your ears. So if you want less of the ambient mics coming into your your ears, push the minus button. If you want more of the ambient mics coming in so you hear more of the environment around you, you push the plus button. You do get a little bit more control, and I'll show you that in the app, but that's in general how it works. Pretty easy to set up. And of course, it charges over USB-C and it has a built-in battery. Okay, so there is an app that comes with it, available for Apple or Android, and you have three different menus here. You have main, equalizer, and options. So on this main screen right here, this is where you can control the mic level, how much of the ambient sound do you want to be let in. So right now it's set to unity gain, which will let in quite a bit of sound. But you know, I could lower it down to like negative 15. I could turn it off and just be completely isolated. I can set it all the way up to plus 12, which you don't really want to do. That's, that's a lot and it'll add too much to it. I personally find not going above zero is usually best. You do have a limiter over 
over here on the side so you can set up a limiter, which is always nice as well. Going over, you have an equalizer. So if you want a little bit more bass, a little less treble, you can set that up here, which is great. You do have a switch as well to set it just back to flat and set it to EQ mode as well. And then over here at options, you have a couple of more advanced setups. So step mode versus set mode up here. This is actually really cool. So if you have it in step mode, when you push up and down on the body pack itself, it's just going to add a little bit more of the ambient mics into your in-ears. So pushing up will bring in more sound, pushing down will bring in less sound. However, you do have an option here as well if you set it to set mode. And what you can do is have the plus button go to a certain setting and the minus button go to another setting. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to set the mic level to zero at unity. And when I push the plus button, I want it to go to unity. So I'm going to push a set plus button. Now, every time that I push the plus button, it will go to zero. Now, when I push the negative button, I want it to drop all the way down to negative 15. So now I'm going to push this set minus button and now it's set to negative 15. So set mode means when I push plus button, it goes to zero minus will go to negative 15. I personally find myself liking to use step mode. That's the one that I like myself. Startup squeal suppressor, I leave on. So when it turns on, it'll just basically mute everything or at least have it at a very limited level. And then when you push either the plus or minus button, it'll go back to normal. So that's great. You don't get any pops or something in your ear when you turn it on. You can also monitor processing bypass if you want to turn off the EQ and the ambient mics and stuff like that. And also you have two different ear styles, which I'll address here in a little bit when I go over the options, but you can set that here as well. So also on multiple menus, so let's go back to the main button. See this separate slash join button right here? If I set it to separate, I can do left and right earpieces different. So I can set the ambient mic a little bit higher in the right, but a little bit lower in the left. That can be helpful if you stand like right by the drummer and you don't want all that drum coming in on the left side, but you still want to hear the ambience coming in on the right side. Pretty interesting. You can also do change, you know, the limiter on the left versus the right as well. Same thing with EQ. You can also do that. You can separate the EQ in the left and in the right. Pretty wild. It's just really cool that you can do that separately. Also, when you first load it up, you should do this. There's a seal test by pushing this ear button up here, and it'll alternate between a low frequency and a higher frequency. And you should be able to hear that the levels, the volume are the same. And that'll let you know if you have a good seal in your ears. Up here, you can save presets and reload presets, and it'll reload everything to where I saved it. Pretty cool. The only thing that I wish that this thing did is that when I push the button on the controller itself, I wish it would show me where the mic level is at. You can see that it doesn't adjust it, you know, in the app itself. I do wish that when I push the buttons that it would give me a live reading of where the mic level is set at currently. Hopefully that'll happen in a future firmware update or something like that. But really cool, pretty easy to use. All of it definitely makes sense. As far as specs, the two most important ones for me is that the frequency response is from 20 hertz up to 20 kilohertz, so the full frequency response, which is great. The operation time is eight hours, and it takes five hours to charge if the battery is fully depleted. If there's anything else you want to see as far as specs, go ahead and pause the screen now. As far as price, to get the 3D ME with dual driver universal tip earbuds, it's going to be $799. And I will have purchase links down below to purchase these if you want to check them out for yourself. They do have options for custom molds. So they have a dual driver and a quad driver. So the dual driver is $2,000 and the quad driver is $2,500. I highly recommend custom molds. I absolutely love them. I did do a video documenting me and my wife going to get custom in ear monitor molds. If you're interested in the process, check out my video on that. So obviously, you have to go to your audio just get those custom molds and send it to them. Those are definitely an option for you as well. And I'll be sure to link down below to everything that you need if you want to check the system out for yourself. They do also have a sleeve. If you get the universal fit and want to upgrade later, you do have that as an option as well. Okay, so like I said, I've been using this for the last couple of shows that I've been doing. So the first one was more like a corporate gig, not a huge, you know, energetic show or anything like that. It was so weird when you first do it. It's, it's almost crazy because I've been using in-ears for, you know, five, six years, and you're isolated most of the time. It's so wild to actually hear what's going on. You feel like, are my ears not fit right? You know, it, it almost sounds like an earbud is out or something like that. It's not. It's it's just wild. You can still hear your mix, but you can still hear the room around you. It's really crazy. I remember, you know, our singer came over to tell me something like, hey, can you turn up the tracks for this song? And he came over and I didn't have to do the take him in-ear out and him tell me what's going on and then put an in-ear in. Just came over and said, hey, can you turn up the tracks? And I was able to do that. It's such a wild feeling. It was great to experience it, but I'll be honest, that gig kind of sucked. So it wasn't like anything like super exciting. However, so I brought it to the next gig that we did. There's this venue that we play in uh, Grand Junction, Colorado. It's called Warehouse 2565. It's always a blast. Every time we play there, it's such a good show. So I was really excited to bring these to that place because 
the audience is always really receptive at that show. There's such a great crowd. And being able to go to that show where people are really responding well to our music and stuff like that, and just being able to hear the crowd when you would do stuff was really cool. In one of the songs we do, we mash up with Rap God by Eminem, so I do that really fast part in that song. And being able to hear the crowd cheer during that part, it was it was so much louder than you can ever hear with any other isolating earbuds. It was really wild. <laughs> You know, we do Inner Sandman, when I got to do the guitar solo to hear the crowd cheering during that part. It's all just really cool. So, you know, I have to be able to hear my in-ears in order to stay on the click track. But being able to have the crowd as well as my mix, it's really wild. It's such a unique experience. Also, I just did a gig this weekend, another place we play in Parker, Colorado, called the Wild Goose Saloon. That one is always fun as well. You can actually hear the crowd, you know, cheer when you did the rap god part or a solo or something like that. It's such a different experience to really be able to hear the crowd and still be able to hear your in-ear monitor mix. It's really cool. So there's no way that I'm going to be able to show you guys how this sounds. I don't know how I would be able to record that and send that and put that in the video. So like I said, my first reaction, I was just like, what the... I wasn't as clean as the YouTube algorithm is going to want me to be, but I was like, oh my God, I can't believe... This is so weird. I wish that I would have filmed that. I should have filmed my reaction to trying these out for the first time, but I didn't know it would be that cool. So what I did is I filmed some of my musician friends trying this out, and I filmed their initial reaction because they hadn't heard this before. I didn't really tell them anything about it. I just wanted to show it to them and film their reaction to it. So here's some of their reactions. What about now? Can you hear me now? Oh my God. Yeah. Wow, I can hear myself. Yeah. <laughs> I probably brought it up too high, but see how you can still hear the music, but hear everything that's going on around. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. So now let me let me bring it back down. So now you're like isolated. I can kind of hear you. Yeah, yeah. But it's pretty isolated, right? Uh, yeah. And now... Are you just talking normal? Are you talking normal? I'm just talking normal and now here, yeah, can you see how much... <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? That's amazing. So Am I, I talking loud? Oh my no, god. No, no, no. Because yeah, if you take it up too high, then yeah, it feels like god, you... Isn't that cool? So we can like have a full on conversation. Yeah, and you can still listen to your music, so. Or like on stage, like people oh can talk to Oh my god, what is this magical thing? Yeah. <laughs> can you hear me right now? Rick, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear us? No, obviously no, not. Can't. But then when I do this. Can you hear us? Now Rick's can you hear us? Rick's a dick. Can you hear us? Rick's a dick. <laughs> can you hear us? Oh my god. What? <laughs> you can hear us now, right? Yes. Yeah. To put it where you want. Which up. way? Up gives you more. Who makes yep. that? Up gives you more ASI audio. Say that again, Tony. Who makes that? <laughs> ASI You're audio. You're a smooth Tennessee whiskey. That's super fucking weird. <laughs> I know. Oh. Can you hear this? Can you hear it? Interesting. I hear it. <laughs> so just FYI, when I did this, I, I took it to the extremes. I pushed the minus all the way to the bottom and I pushed the plus all the way to the top. So at basically off for the ambient mics and then plus 12. You don't want to go to plus 12 because then, especially when you talk, you're going to get like, you know, it's going to, you're going to hear that more. So when you're talking or singing, it, it's kind of, it's, it's sending more sound into you. So that's why, you know, like with Tiffany, she she was like, why is everything so loud right now? Because I had it at 12. So don't set it there. I don't know of a situation where you really want to go up above zero. So just something to keep in mind. I think something that really speaks about how cool the system is, is that there's another video, another review on YouTube by Pete Thorne. If you haven't seen him, great, great YouTuber. 
I'm sure you have. It's something that's cool about his video is that he mentions that he's not really a fan of in-ear monitors. And I don't want to put words on his mouth. You should watch his video on it. But he kind of come, came from the place of, oh, sometimes I have to do a tour and they say you have to use in-ear monitors. I'm just like, okay, sure, I'll do that. That's where he's coming from. He's not really a fan of it. Again, watch his video to have him explain it. I, however, am coming from the world of in-ear monitors are probably the best investment a musician can make. That's truly what I believe. It's not for everyone. There's exceptions for everything. But in-ear monitors are one of the best things that I've ever invested in as a musician. I absolutely love them. And I definitely encourage most musicians to get them. Both of us are like, wow, these are really cool. So even someone who's not a fan of in-ear monitors loves these. And me, as someone who is a massive fan of in-ear monitors, I also love these. I think that definitely speaks volumes of how cool the system is. So that's basically it. If you guys found this video helpful, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. It does a ton to help out the channel and I would seriously appreciate it. Purchase links to purchase this will be down below in the description if this is something that you want to check out for yourself. Using those links is also a free way to support the channel at no extra cost to you. Again, many thanks to ASI Audio for sending this over to check out for the channel. So be sure to check out my video on the Audio Technica in-ear monitor system. That's one of my favorite in-ear monitor systems that I use. It's a hidden gem. I really think more people need to know about it. So check that out and also check out my video on getting custom molds if you're not familiar with the process of getting custom in your monitor ear molds. You can check out both of those videos by clicking the links on your screen now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Scott Yule Music. I post a lot about my shows on my stories specifically on Instagram so be sure to follow me on there. Thank you guys again for watching. Leave a comment down below if you have any other cool gear you want me to check out. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.